should be good to go. Come on now, hurry up. Okay, got that muted. All right, what's up everyone? Janitor Jake here and give me a minute to get everything situated and I will get going with the live stream. All right, get this figured out here. Hopefully I can do this quick so I can just jump into it. And today I am going to be playing good old Mousetrap. For the good old ColecoVision. So two ColecoVision games in a row. And then tomorrow will be another Atari 2600 game. So let me check to make sure the audio is okay. Games in a row. Okay. Everything seems to be okay. All right. Get out of there. Do this. All right, so I think we're good to go there. Don't want to do that. This stupid phone. Okay, let me check this. And looks like everything is working, so I will begin with the live stream. So without further ado, let's get going. So today I am going to be playing Good old Mousetrap, which was released for the ColecoVision by, I believe it's Exidy, E-X-I-D-Y. And uh, this game came out in August of 1982, so uh, never heard of Exidy. I'm assuming it's based off of, uh, well, it's even right there in the picture right below me, it's based off the arcade cabinet. So I'm assuming Exidy created the arcade cabinet. I uh, never played this game before in my life, so it is going to be a blind let's play playthrough. Um... Do not own the box, do not own the manual, but I did read the manual, and this is interesting because this is the first game that I own that does require using the keypad during gameplay. So that's going to be interesting because usually in games like that, they have an overlay that you put in there, and I, because I do not have it complete or anything, I don't have the overlay either. So... But in the manual, it was pretty simple. You only use buttons 1, 2, 3, and buttons 5 to open and close the doors. And from reading the manual, it seems like almost the exact same game as Ladybug. But it might be a little bit different. I don't know. I'll have to pop it in and find out. So without further ado, let's pop the puppy in and get going. Ah, you figures. I have to move this thing around. Okay. There we go. Coleco presents Exidy's Mousetrap. Ooh. All right, looks like we're good to go. So skill level one. We're going to do that, but there's apparently an animal in here called the hawk, so it's a bird, but it only appears on skill level 2, 3, and 4. But for now, we are going to go to skill level 1. Nice. Oh, you just start off right, right away. Okay. So I can't... So if I hit 1... So 1 opens the red doors. 
And if you do it again, it closes. Two opens the yellow doors. So yeah, very, uh, very reminiscent of, uh... No, Ladybug. And three... Alright, three does the blue doors. Whoops. So, pretty much, kind of, sort of the same as Ladybug, but just a little bit of a different take on it. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, another Pac-Man-y, clone -y style game. Just gotta remember which buttons to open and close. And I got a bonus. And if you push button number five, you can actually turn into a dog. However, you do have to have, uh, bones. Oh, I wonder if I can get this key. So now I'm gonna grab this bone over here, if I can. And now I'm gonna turn into a dog and try to eat these guys up. It's kinda like, uh, being the ghost from, uh, Pac-Man. I just don't know how long it lasts. It does not last very long. And then I can do it again and use up a, uh, a bone. And there you go. I don't think I have any more bones left. I tried moving and the idiot wouldn't move. Oh, I have bones right up there. So if I go... Oh, never mind. I went the wrong way. And then if I go... What is N? Oh, crazy. So that's like a, uh... Like a teleporter thing, almost. So if I come in... So if I just go in there, I don't do nothing. Alright, go to the next stage, I guess. I do love the colors. I love the greens and stuff like that. I love the neon -y look to everything. I think it looks really cool. Grab the bone just in case. One opens. Okay, two opens yellow. And three opens blue. So, of course, that's more, you know, strategy type stuff like that. I'm trying to use the strategy to open and close certain doors. But I don't have it memorized, so that's. That's really the problem, trying to memorize uh, which buttons open which doors. Three opens the blue, so we got that. Two opens that, so whoops. Come out here, do that. It's cool too, like whenever you get the keys and the glasses or whatever, uh, getting the bonus points. You really rake up the bonus points in here, that's crazy. And that's why I'm trying to save some of the dots, so I can come over here and then go like that. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I did not mean to finish out the stage, but that's right, every 40,000 points you actually do get an extra mouse. So that's cool, you do get extra lives in here, which I really like. Wow, I'm really racking up the bones, I didn't realize it. And then... If he wants to be like that, I'll do that. Darn it, get in there. So yeah, it definitely does require, seems like it definitely would require a lot of strategy, and once you really get it down, this game would be a lot of fun. Um, once again, I feel like it's better than Pac-Man. Uh, I just, I love the idea of a maze game like Pac-Man, but then throwing in all the crazy extra stuff. I just think it's really awesome. Uh, implementing, opening up the different doors. And Forrest says yay. Ah, uh, shoot. How's it going, Forrest? How's everything going this fine evening? I want to get that cheese. I'm going to turn into a dog so I can eat that cat. Grab that cheese, get a bonus, and then come down. And then... 
I guess I could just finish it out. I'm thinking while I could rack up a ton of points by, by grabbing the key and whatever else the glass is. And now this, like I said, this is skill level 1, so it is pretty simple. And uh, skill level 2 will actually introduce another animal, the hawk. Alright, now push 2 to open that door. It would be really cool to actually get the overlays for the uh, controller. Oh, I thought I hit 5. Must have pushed the wrong button. I thought I pushed the correct button, but I... Apparently, I did not. And that time I did, but did not do it quick enough. Doing much better now that we got some rain. Oh, you had a migraine from the weather pressure, huh? Yeah, that's no good. Migraines are pretty terrible. How am I doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. So I just figured I'd throw down with another live stream tonight. This time, Mousetrap for the ColecoVision. Which, it pretty much looks and acts almost the exact same as Ladybug from yesterday with a few exceptions and like ladybug i am enjoying it so i'm actually going to go to skill level two so hit that button skill level two now it should introduce a hawk for us so that's great to hear so all right let's see how tough skill level two is But yeah, like I was saying, I love the idea. It's kind of like Ladybug. It um, has the doorways, but you can't just bump into the doors to open them. You have to actually... Uh oh You have to actually push the keypad on your controller. So keep like, 1, 2, and 3 will open up different doors. And you can block off the different cats. I think you can go in here and hide. Maybe not. It said something in the manual that when the hawk come the hawk comes out, you can actually um, hide from him by going somewhere. And I don't remember where they said you could hide from him at. It, was it in here? Maybe that's what it was talking about. We'll get out of there. And now I will turn into a dog here pretty soon and try to eat these cats. I want to get in there. Oh. I was thinking, man, there's a lot of... Oh, shoot, the hawk gets you too when you're a dog. There's a lot of cats in that one area, and I was thinking, oh, man, I could really rake up the, uh, the bonus points. There we go. Got all that, so... So, yeah, it definitely adds to the challenge having that hawk show up. And then, uh, like I said, it will be cool to have the overlays just so I can tell which button does what. I think three opens up the blue door. So I ate that cat. Now I gotta try to dodge all this. Whoops. I need to grab another bone. Turn into a dog, eat that cat. That was close, actually. There we go. See, right in here would have been... Shoot. And then try to eat that cat. Nice. Oh, man, I need to... Alright, hit three, do that. Two open... Okay, yeah. I keep getting confused which ones... Two and one, which doors they open. But I'm starting to get the hang of it. Okay, now if I hit three... Whoa. He's gonna come down after me, so... Do that, come down here, there we go. Oh, there's still... I did not realize that there was still... a dot down there, so I'm gonna do this. Hurry up and turn into a dog. Eat that, eat that, eat that. Grab that dot before you die. Bonus! Oh yeah, 
And every 40,000 points, like I said, you get an extra mouse, so that's really cool. Oh no. Okay. Thought I got stuck there for a second. Come on, get over there. Ah, oh, shoot, I didn't notice it. Hawk coming after me. Love the music, too. The graphics in here look awesome. Music's pretty awesome. No, you don't. Darn it. Game over. Game over. Yeah, definitely not a bad game. I'm going to try skill level 4, just to see how intense this gets. Not a whole lot, though, like in, um, like in Ladybug, you could uh, collect the special letters. Whoops, where am I? There we go. You could collect the special letters, collect the extra letters, to try to get uh, different to go onto the special stage and do all sorts of different stuff, whereas here it's a lot more simple, a lot more simplistic, and a lot more basic, with a lot more of the focus being focused on doing that, opening and closing the doors to try to get in certain areas. And then I, I do love the idea and the concept of uh, being a dog. Changing your mouse into a dog so you can actually eat the cats. Kind of like uh, getting a power pellet or whatever from uh, Pac-Man. It's almost kind of like that. Except you can do it whenever, as long as you have enough. And right now I have three bones so I can do it. Well, now I just used it up, but I still have two more bones left. So I can turn into a dog at least two more times. But kind of like Mousetrap, the controller is not that great. Of course, I'm wishing that I have a... I wish I would have more of a joystick controller. That was close. Get out of there, darn it. Because you don't utilize the side buttons, and that's the problem. The way I have to hold the controller, I have to hold it in a way where I can have access to the keypad. To the buttons 1, 2, 3, and 5. But holding it in the most comfortable position I can think of to hold it, it I don't have access to the buttons. My fingers and thumbs are not in the right spots to be able to push the buttons. And so in order to get my thumb in the right spot to be able to push the buttons to open the doors and stuff quickly... Darn it. In order to have my hand in the right spot to push the button, I have to hold it in an uncomfortable manner. In order to play comfortably, I have to hold it like this, but then I can't access the buttons, so it's kind of cheap. Alright, well, now I'm going to see how high of a score I can actually get. So, I'm going to go to skill level 1, and we're going to sit back, relax, chill out, and try to see. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. It would be awesome if I could roll the counter over, but I'm assuming that's going to be... It, it looks like it only goes up to 999,999, so I don't know if I will necessarily be able to pull that off. And if I could get enough of the dog bones and try to trap all the uh, cats in one area. And here's what you would do. You would, like, sit here and just rake in the, uh, the bonuses. Like, come over here, get this. Because you don't have a time limit, so I can just sit here and just do... Go crazy with that. So, whoops, don't want to do that. 
Okay, so there's one more dot left, so I'm gonna try to see if I can do this. I want to get all the cats kind of in one. Uh, because of that, it's hard. What I wanted to do is something like this. Ooh, that was close. I don't know if I can hit... Okay, cool, I did get him in time. So it is kind of cheating, like, staying in the same spot over and over and just doing this. I need to watch that, because... Whenever the cats are in, I guess, the cat house... Oh, they will pop out, like, really close, so I gotta watch it. Like, right there. Paying attention to when the cats are in the... The litter box, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say they're chilling in the litter box. Okay. Open that up, come down here, clear this area out, try to grab that bone so I have some extra uh, dog stuff, do that, open that up, close that off to block him down there. Get up there and grab that. Okay, now I want to come down here and grab this for the extra points. If I could try to trap them all in like a specific area, it'd be awesome just to eat all four of them in a row. I don't know if you get any crazy bonus points for doing that. That would be kind of cool. I think it would be really, really tough to be able to pull that off. See, ah, it was close. Okay, and then there's that. Come on now. Oh, that looks like a like a diaper pin. This thing, two thousand. That's a quite a bit of points. Anything else? Oh, did I just get all of them? I'm not seeing any more. Interesting. <gasps> you son of a gun! Alright, well, let's just head on out of here. There we go. Oh yeah, one last dot in the corner. Yeah, I usually try to leave one dot left, and then I'm gonna go around and try to uh, collect all the bonus. I think in the manual they call them prizes, like right here is a bonus cheese. That thing. And then all of a sudden the key... Whoops, the key is in the lower left-hand corner, so... Ooh, get out of there. Yeah, I usually try to leave one dot left so I can collect all the goodies. And it looks like you can collect all of them, and then eventually they quit appearing. Ooh, that would have been a good opportunity to try to get them all, but now they're going to be all separated, so... There we go, I got all of them. I don't think you... Oh, get out of there! Don't be dumb. Open that up, there you go. Now I want to try... To come over here and grab this. I'm gonna grab that dot in the corner before I forget about that. 
Okay, get down out of there. And so he's stuck in there. So if I open that up... Now he'll go, do that, do that. I want to grab that. Oh yeah, and see I got that cat stuck in there too. But I want to come over here and grab this ring. And then another one, yeah, the diaper pin appears. And then I think that is it. I don't think any more. Oh, there's a... Whatever. A drink. What, what do you call that? I call it the green drop drink from the movie Congo. Uh, I can't think of what it's called. Where you put a green olive in it. Whatever drinks those are. But there we go. 93,000. Alright, so now... And now it's really picking up. And, oh, that was lucky. Come on now. Three... Yeah, it's really hard to uh, pay attention to eating all the dots, grabbing everything, and then paying attention to where all the cats are, and then still trying to pay attention so I don't... Paying attention to which buttons are which to open and close, which it's like, oh, okay, I'm safe now. I know I, I need to leave a dot, so I, I want to come down here, grab that, and go grab those glasses. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that, darn it. It's fine. Grab that, looks like a musical instrument. Okay, he's going to come back down, so I'm going to do that. Try to get in there and grab that. Come down here. This is going to be tricky because that one cat down there is going to pop out soon. Keep my hand on the five so I can turn into a dog at least and eat some cats. So that's what I'm going to do there. Oh, and there's a pair of scissors now. So try to go around. There we go. And I think that is it. I don't see anything else. So I think I can grab this dot. Okay. Oh yeah, martini. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, listen to that now. Music got crazy intense. Come on now, get out of there. Horror game. Now I could play this game um for Halloween. It's like scary. Oh, no one's gonna get ya. Oh no, he's gonna get ya. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Darn it. Man, trying to keep my fingers on the correct buttons is tough. I want that piece of cheese. Because I'm doing really good for racking up the points. Come on. <gasps> Get out of there. Grab the key. Do that. It in here. Ah, oh, shoot, I didn't want to do that, darn it. Get down there. Come on now. Yeah, it's so intense, I have to try to jump around 
from buttons 1, 2, and 3, and 5. And it's so hard. I'm just gonna do this and end it. Shoot. There. Holy cow, I might be able to crack 200,000, but it's gonna get really tricky. Uh oh. Wow. Holy smoke. You see, right here, I have to hit three to open that. Hmm. It's almost like I have to have a second player, and then I'm like, alright, hit. Open the blue door, open the red door, open the green door, open the yellow door. And have somebody actually sit here and push the buttons. Because the way they have it set up, you got one, two, three, and then five is in the middle. And so I'm trying to remember which finger, which button my thumb is on. And it's like, holy cow, because I need to have my thumb on the five, just in case I get really close to a cat. Bam, I can hit the five button, turn into a dog, and eat the cat. But I need to know which numbers open which door. Like, I know three opens blue, one opens red, two opens yellow, and three opens blue. But to try to, like, bring my fingers across and hit them quick enough so I can travel, especially in these later areas, holy smoke. It's it crazy. But looks like I hit... 155,000. And if I just do this, I think it goes back to the beginning. And now everything is nice and slow and chilled out. But yeah, apparently you only get... I'm going to count them. So this is one. That's the cheese. And then that's two. And then three is the glasses. Which is right there, so that's three. Shoot, I didn't, ah, that's why you gotta be careful. See, and I think when you die, I wonder if it starts over. Because now the cheese is up here again. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna hit reset. Because like I said, I, I want to see how many of those things there are. I believe in the manual it mentions something about 15. So I think there are 15 prizes. So here we go, number one, the cheese, and then number two, and then three, should be this. And then four should be this. And then five is over here on the other end. And then this looks like six. And is that it? It looks like that's it. I am not seeing anything else. I don't see any more prizes, so it looks like six. So I wonder if it progresses then. So that was six. So now if I go to the next area, I might there might be seven of them. So 
so there's one. Two is right here. Three is up top. Right there. Four is down here. Five is way over here. Whoops, I didn't want to do that, but whatever. There's five. And then it looks like six is that ring down there, so that's different. And then there's seven, the diaper pin. And this might be it. So now there's no more. And now, wave number three, there should be eight. So there's one. Come on now. There's two. And there's three. And then four is in the lower right. So here's four. And then five is over here. It looks like six is down there. Darn it, I didn't want to do that. And then I think that's eight. And then nine is the martini. Darn it. I didn't mean to do that, but I think that's nine. And now it might either be nine or ten. I don't know. Because I goofed that up. But I think it progresses. Ah, uh, shoot. So I got one. That was close. Kind of did that for safety. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Six. Nice. There's seven. There's eight. And then there's nine, which is a pair of scissors. So yeah, it's like it cut off at 9, so then the next round it should go up to 10. Holy cow. Everything is so fast and intense.
And with the controller, if I if I could use like an Atari joystick in here, it would be way easier to deal with. Come on now. Yeah, I put. I thought I had my thumb on number five, but I guess I didn't. So it definitely looks like it progresses through. And I believe, at least according to the manual, it will max out at 15. This is lucky. And that's the thing people watching might be like, why are you moving around so sloppy? It's like, that's, it's hard, like, that's the problem. It's like, I'm not trying to move around like a big slop, but it is super tough doing it with the control pad. And then Forrest says, this one does look fun, but... Uh, you think you might like the Ladybug one a little bit better. Yeah, Ladybug, it definitely seemed like it had a little bit more going for it, and especially control-wise, I kind of like it better that you can just bump into the walls and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, I think I might like Ladybug a little bit better than this. I love the graphics, I love the way it looks. They have the goal by collecting the different like prizes, like the cheese and stuff like that. Which adds a lot of replayability to it. How much of those can I collect? Can I collect all of them? And that's super fun and super awesome. But uh, I don't like having to bounce back and forth between the keypad. If it was 1, 2, and 3, I wouldn't mind it. But because I have to use the 5, it's super frustrating. To try to remember, be like, oh, okay, get the 5 now. Oh, get out of there. And now, because it is so intense, and because I have to pay attention to what buttons I'm going to be pushing, it's like now I can't even really try to go for the prizes, just because it's so intense. Looks like I can crack 200,000. I wasn't even really trying. I was just trying to get all the good stuff. And it looks like I managed to almost get up to 200,000. It'd be awesome if I could pull it off. I almost have to, at this point, not even worry about the doors and just focus on uh, keeping my hand on the number five. Just so I can not have to worry about accidentally turning into... About accidentally getting eaten. Oh, there it is. 200,000. Nice. Come on, now. 213,000. See, if, if you played this game long enough and get really, really good and memorize the layout and memorize how to open the doors efficiently and very, very quickly, you could probably easily roll the counter over in no time. 
kind of want to keep going just to hear the uh, changing of the music. To see if it changes up again. See, right there, I hit the six, and I was like, ah, I don't want to do that. I hit button number six and not two. Lucky. Ah, right there, you cheap. Oh, I was lucky. Just trying to hit door number three to open the stupid thing. And I kept pushing the wrong button. And now I'm I'm moving fast too, and so it's like, shoot! Oh, I did not mean to do that. Accidentally pushed the, accidentally pushed the button to turn into the dog, and it saved me. Oh sweet, I got an extra life. Come on, you want to come down so bad? Come get me. Now it's like I almost have to be real sneaky. And figure out which way they're going. Like that. And now I can open that up and come in here. Wait for him, because I knew he was going to do that. Uh... Ooh, lucky. 254,000. Music's still the same. I'm wondering. Oh, never mind. I was like, I'm wondering if the mazes are changing up any, but I don't think they are. Got my hand in the right spot. Yep. There you go. You sneak. Saw what you were gonna do. Grab that and get out of there. Okay. That man, I'm, if I keep it up, I might be able to hit uh, three hundred thousand. Just trying to be patient. Maybe I can grab that. Nice. And now I have to come up here, make sure I hit the right button. Whew. This game's getting intense now. <gasps> oh, I want to hit the right button. Oh, get out of there. Thank goodness I got that bonus mouse. Alright, come on. I see you're gonna try to sneak up in here. It's nice because you can come in here and like kind of sort of lock yourself in. You're like, alright. Get down there and get this for the bonus. I should leave that door open so I can just fly through there. I'm gonna have to do that and just go for it. I need to clear this out, so I don't want to get blocked in here. <sighs> 299,000. I think I can actually crack 300. There we go, 301,302. Nice. Oh man, get my hand on the right button. What are you doing? Go down! Stupid. 
just wouldn't go down. I even had, like, I was pushing down. He's like, no, I'm just not going to do it. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button there. Darn it. At least I do have enough bones that it's not that big of a deal. Holy cow, that was lucky. Come on, so you can do that. Okay, whew. Lock myself in here for a smidge bit. Do that, and then we'll do that. Wow. Ooh, I tried moving, but he didn't move quick enough. Son of a gun. I kind of wish he would automatically go around the doors, like when I'm pushing down, he would go around it, but he doesn't. Pain in the butt. Now oh, yeah, I gotta try to grab that. Get up there. I wanna get up here. We'll do that then. Yeah, now it's just keeping kind of the same intense music. So I don't think they're going to change it up. I think I kind of hit the max. So I don't think they're going to go any faster than this. I think they're going to stay about the same speed. I don't know what wave this... This might be wave 15 or something. And here's where I think it kind of maxed out. Whoops. Wow, that was pretty intense. 346,180. So, yeah, definitely a fun game once you really start getting into it. Um, I like that you do have goals that you can work towards, like collecting all the different prizes. And then hearing the changing of the music, that was really cool. I love the graphics. Uh, the gameplay, I don't know, I still think I like Ladybug a little bit better, but that's really only because of the controller. The control is pretty intense. Plus, Ladybug, you can collect the special. You can collect the extra. Um, it's, like I was saying before, Mousetrap is kind of sort of the same as Ladybug, just a little bit of different things. Instead of collecting the special letters to go into a special area, and this one you don't go into a special area, but instead of collecting the special letters, you collect prizes instead. And dodging... Uh, the opening the doors, it's a cool concept using the keypad, but it gets too intense to really do that, and it gets real crazy with trying to figure out which thumb, which number my thumb is on. Like, I always have it on five, and then I gotta know, okay, go to three. But it's not like, it's not like I can quickly go to three. There's like, it's hard to explain unless you actually play it, but it's like, it feels like there's a huge jump. Like, I really have to, like, push and go up to hit number three to open the blue doors. But uh, anyway, that was Mousetrap for the ColecoVision. Definitely a fun game. Mousetrap, Ladybug, both fun. I think they're actually a little bit more fun than Pac-Man. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if Pac-Man came out for the ColecoVision. I'll have to look that up. But maybe there's a Pac-Man on the ColecoVision. I doubt it. But uh, maybe Pac-Man for the uh, Atari 5200 would be fun. But Pac-Man just seemed really simple and basic. You just took Pac-Man, went around the maze, collected the, dot, collected the dots, and stayed away from the ghosts until you ate the power pellet, and then you ate the ghosts. Whereas, at least in Ladybug and Mousetrap, they added a lot more variety, which I think is really cool. But other than that, I think I'm going to take off. So Mousetrap is a great game. I totally recommend going and picking it up. And Forrest, thanks for watching and hitting up the chat. It's always fun. But uh, with that being said, I think I'm going to skedaddle. So whatever, I'm Janitor Jake, and I will see you guys next time.